Hi guys. There's a big, huge lizard right here. Oh, hold on, this is important. Oh shit. Come back, lizard. Can you see him? Ah, he's huge. Wait, where'd he go? I'm scared. Oh, he's, he's huge. In my... Hey guys. I just saw a big lizard. I'm trying to bring you close to him. Shit. I lost him. Hey guys, how's it going? Let's go over here. Let's go see if I can find some more creatures. This will work more. How's it going? Damn. There Hello. Hi guys, how's it going? Tosh, come say hello. <coughs> That's a hello from Tosh. How are you guys doing? Wow. Are you pumped? What happened? What you, what's wrong? He's so cute. How are you guys doing? Except for Tosh. What's wrong with you? Hey guys. My day is going okay. It could be better. But it's going, it's going, you know what I mean? Sometimes I just have too much to do and then I don't do anything because I'm like, I have too much to do. <laughs> Ew, Jason, that's gross. Thanks guys. I know, I want to find all my creatures outside. There's lizards out here. Thanks. From always lizards over here I want to show you because they're huge they're like scary Meh, no lizards hey guys how are you guys doing I'm relaxing too I'm chill I did a podcast today with some friends shot some content Tosh threw up on my couch that's what I'm not mentioning Tosh threw up on my couch it's really upsetting whatever how are you guys? <laughs> also, I think I have a bite between my boobs. It looks a little shady, not gonna lie to you. I hear a bird. Where's the bird? I'm trying to show nature here. I hear it. Fuck it. Anyway, how are you guys doing? What is today, Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. Did anyone do anything fun over the weekend? You know what? I need coffee. That's what I'm going to go do. <laughs> Hi, guys. You're so sweet. Nice of you to check in with me. I'm going to get coffee. That's what I'm going to do. Buffering. So sorry. Okay. Here we go. Tosh? I wish Tosh could hold the camera. Okay. Okay, we're back in. Okay, we're back. We're making some coffee. How are you guys doing? <sighs> what do I have going on? in life. Well, I'm working on the new pod. I am, I got to film an audition in a few, so that'll be fun. I'm doing some housework and I'm trying to get some abs. I've been going to the gym. <laughs> it's real, honestly, I was so scared to go to the freaking gym because I haven't lifted weights like alone in years. Like. I feel like since, well, it feels like years, but before the pandemic and stuff. So to get the balls to like go by yourself is not easy. We're in my house. We're gonna make some coffee. Hey guys, hi in Mexico. Let's fix this hair. I really need to invest in a tripod. I had one and I never used it. And it's really, it's to the point where I need one, I think. Hey guys. I love you so much, Nicholas. Nicholas, that's an interesting name. Gina, I, oh, the podcast I did is called Sorry Mom. Very clever. Um, it's with Nikki Howard and a friend, Sydney. They're so fun. This is how I made coffee, okay? Thank you for asking how I'm doing. 
Aramet, I hope I'm saying that right, or is it Jermet? I don't want to fuck that up. I'm always scared I'm going to fuck up someone's name, and it'll be some, um, like, curse word or something really offensive that I don't know any better. And Because uh, some things I just don't know, and then I'm afraid I'll say a name, and it'll actually mean something horrific. Oh, I just don't like this hair. I don't like this hair. I actually just have so much makeup on today, it feels uncomfortable. Hi, guys. Greetings, Canada. How, what's it like in Canada? How is the situation? Okay, by the way, this is how Lindsay does coffee. I don't, I like, hot coffee's fine, but I don't dig it that much. And I'm lazy, so I don't want to do the little machine, even though I feel like that would be a fun dopamine hit. So I use cold brew. <laughs> And you can buy a, everyone does it like adults don't know that you can buy coffee that's been roasted and ready. I know that most of you probably know that, but you'd be surprised how many of my like 30 something friends are like, wait, what? There's coffee already made and you just put it in a glass? Yeah. Think smarter. Not harder. <laughs> anyway, is anyone else a cold brew person? It's just my favorite. Hi guys. Kisses to Brazil. How lucky are you to live in Brazil? The most beautiful women, oh my God. Everyone in Brazil is like gorgeous from what I've heard. Anyone else believe that? James said, will you marry me? Who knows? Dude, what if like, you, sometimes I'm like, am I gonna get married now or like 47? It could really go any way. And I kind of don't, like I'm totally cool with whatever, but I kind of wish I knew. So I knew if I was dating for the future or if I'm kind of just like, I wish I kind of just had a timeline so I knew what to plan. <laughs> I hate like that I don't, um, that I don't know what's up, but I'm not in a rush. Okay. So we pour the cold brew. This is enough to get me off the walls. Add some ice. <laughs> I'd be playing music right now, but obviously I can't. Oh, this light is incredible. God damn it. I should just be sitting here the whole time. <laughs> I, like when you have so much makeup on, you're in shitty light. It's just game over. It's all about the light. Thanks, Gary. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Should I just sit here? <laughs> We're icing the cold brew. Now I'm getting excited. Okay, we need some, a little bit of milk. <laughs> Yeah, the bottle was definitely Lindsay proof. Oh, I haven't had, oh, I had a little coffee today. You guys are so sweet. How are you? I feel like, um, is everyone, is it school starting where everyone is? I feel like that's, every time I'm on Facebook, it's families and stuff. So it's all about like, what are kids doing at school? Everyone's going back to school. Are they going back to school? So, but that's so foreign to my world here because none of my friends really have kids here in LA, but they, all of them do in Louisiana, which is interesting. Oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I like going live too. I feel like it's easy and I'm not, I would be lying to you if I said there wasn't an ulterior motive, but um, Facebook monetizes views if you get a certain amount and I'm going to be posting my podcast too. So I just thought like, let me warm up my Facebook page. Instagram, I hate using now, which is really sad, but I don't think it's fun. I'm not a big TikTok girl. So I'm just trying to spread my wings. <laughs> but um, I've been having fun going live, so I'm really thinking about making it into some sort of like thing where I either invite someone over or I go do something live. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what. It's fun, though. You guys are kind of watching me just like experiment, but I feel like... The internet is just like any other kind of part of life. And it's just like you can just experiment, figure out what you like or don't like. And it's totally fun. Hey, guys. <laughs> they started school in Quebec. Oh, how fun. Uh, guys, I hope this isn't disgusting. But we should probably talk about it. This looks gross, doesn't it? Can you see that? It looks sick. I think it's a... Uh, I'm having a huge spider issue. Um... I don't know what I did. I think one spider must have, they, they must be talking and one spider must have hit up another spider and been like, yo, she doesn't care. She doesn't notice we're here. 
it's great weather. She has a nice little dog that runs around. And then the other spiders were like, fuck yeah, let's go. And now I live in their home. <laughs> they have totally infiltrated. And um, infiltrated, is that a word? But they've totally <laughs> infiltrated my fucking house. And there's spiders everywhere. And I don't want to, um, I mean, I don't know how to, I really, I have to get a professional. And, um, but it's too late. I definitely got some kind of fucking bite on my tits. <laughs> Part of my French. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Louisiana Queen, yeah. I don't remember there being a lot of like spidery issues in Louisiana, but there's also like, you don't know, like I didn't know anything about a home until I took on living in one. And like living in a big home, especially something that's like older, I've been learning so much. I've learned about like septic tanks, electrical panels, um, dishwasher or refrigerator breaking shit just it's been a lot of fun <laughs> mm. this needs more fake sugar yeah it does are you wearing a i don't know what that is but i'm wearing a swimsuit it's kind of an older swimsuit honestly if i look like i repeat all my swimsuits over and over again i, I really don't like a lot of styles right now I think the styles are getting very lazy or over the top, and there's just not a lot of um, inspiring swimwear to me. Is that weird? <laughs> First world problems. I'd show the back, but I'll probably like get Facebook arrested or something. The cops will literally show up to my house because they heard my ass was on Facebook. <laughs> I put some witch hazel in it. For, oh, my cut? I mean, my spite? I know. I don't have witch hazel, but I'm down. I also heard to get rid of spiders that I had to put peppermint oil everywhere. Like all the um, super duper woke don't hurt spider people, which I knew were coming because I live in LA. They were like, um, get peppermint oil and spray it everywhere, which I'm totally down with. But who knew that was like a remedy? Like there's so much shit that I don't know about houses and like all the uh, little tricks. I would appreciate actually anyone who has um, like, a, like a piece of advice for like houses or like maintaining houses. I had a really good piece of advice before I moved. Someone was like, just get ready that everything's gonna break. So don't get freaked out, like everything's gonna break. And I thought, okay. And that was really helpful. But any kind of, oh, all creatures hate peppermint oil. Who fucking knew? Does, would Tosh hate peppermint oil? Because we want to make sure he doesn't pee in certain spots. Matt said get a cat. I would love a cat, to be honest. Only because they're low maintenance compared to, you know, this little terror. I would, I would have loved another dog. But because Tosh is really, like, disabled, it's kind of hard He's already, he's a lot to um, pay attention to. And, you know, anybody else have a blind dog? <laughs> um, advice turnaround, clever, right? You can make those kind of suggestions on my fun page. I go live pretty much every Friday, but I don't know if I'm allowed to show my butt cheeks on Facebook. Like I said, I'll probably get arrested. You should take up this issue with Facebook. Tell them that you like big butts, and you can't lie. Love you guys. Tasha will lick peppermint oil up, that sucks. Okay. Boop. Cheers! Oh, and for my super duper fancy cold brew coffee, I use Trader Joe's Stevia extract. I'm sure that 50 people are gonna now tell me that this is gonna kill me somehow. It's either that or the spider bite. Either way. Just kidding. <laughs> I need to know if a fake person messaging me, sweetheart, are they saying they're you? Um, I only have verified accounts, and that's not some trick. I don't have a Finsta. I don't secretly message anyone. And to be honest, I don't prefer to text people on my personal cell phone at all. Like, I don't, I don't want to do that. So, if someone's messaging you from an account that isn't verified, it's... Not me. It's probably a dude, which sucks. <laughs> okay, so here he is. Okay. 
This lighting is much more beautiful. Hey guys. Sorry about the view of my spider bite. How's he going? Cheers. <laughs> you guys want to see something really scary? I'll probably regret. No, I'm just kidding. And don't freak out, okay? But you, this is mo movie magic, okay? I'm probably, I'm going to get kicked out of like, um, you know, any kind of glam girl anonymous group for this. But these are called clip-ins. These go in your hair, and they make you have more hair. Isn't that fun? I love telling girl secrets because I think they're, like there's so much secrets about a, like just like our bodies work so differently. So I'm always trying to tell people like, oh, we do this and this happens. And I always ask boys in return, like if I start dating someone, I'll ask them like, what's it like with this body part? Have you ever done this? Like I just think it's so cool that we have like completely different bodies. <laughs> Is that weird? It just cracks me up. I think we have uh, real cool experiences. They're all so different. Gina, you got a dog. Congrats! Woo! Welcome to the doggy family. Look, Tosh. Hey, baby. Gina got a dog. Woohoo! I like to hype him up. I'm so annoying. Mm. More girl secrets? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Um, well, honestly, like the one that comes to mind is like, um, we can wake up and like with hormones, we can retain, I like, I'm not kidding you, like five extra pounds of like water weight. So I'm, I, yesterday, I swear I looked pregnant. I'm like, I look like a pregnant woman. I don't even, there's no way around this. I look like a pregnant woman and I'm not, it's just hormones, but like shit like that. And like um, our hormones, like our serotonin can literally deplete. So we can be happy, healthy individuals. And like with the monthly stuff, our, our brain, one doctor I read was referring to it as, um, he said, it's like hijacking your brain chemistry. And clearly women handle it so well because they don't go around and shoot people. So I find them fascinating creatures. I really do. But like, I'm so obsessed with like um, birth stuff too. And I don't even want to have kids, at least right now. But I think birth is just like, whoa. So those are my new hobbies, looking at like birth videos. Um, but the question I always ask boys, so if I am dating someone and we're getting closer, I'm like, okay, tell me the secrets. And I always want to know if Adam Massage Parlor, if anyone's ever um, taking it too far or like made an advance to them at a massage parlor. Because I, I think that con that's just like a crazy concept to me. And I've asked, I've had at least two people say yes. Like total romantic encounters at massage parlor. Par no, three. And they have like gone through with it. I'm trying to say this in the most dignified, G-rated way, but I always wanna know like shit like that. So, but that one is one. So have you ever, I shouldn't even ask that question, but I asked some stupid shit and then I asked stuff, I'll be like, um, have you ever, like, <laughs> I can't, I can't answer, I can't actually tell you. Oh, no, I feel like what I'm saying is totally fine, but like it might be deemed inappropriate, but I'm always asking stupid questions about like, how do you do this? What's your body like with this? <laughs> I'm like, what does an erection feel like? I don't know why I'm crying, but I just think it's so funny that like, that's what I want to know. Not like, hey, what's it like to walk around at night and not be afraid? That would be better, but I'm, I want to know like, have you ever sat on your own balls, you know? I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Joe says, well, Joe says, how was your experience on the hills? Um, exactly like what it looked like. I barely knew um, who I was with. Um, and then we dated for way too long. But it was fine. It was cool. <laughs> um, thanks, Tim. You're funny, too. Oh. I can't say that. I can't answer that question. This is G-rated. This is G-rated Facebook. <laughs> What's my my astrological sign? I'm a Taurus. So um, I'm incredibly stubborn. 
they say, which is true. But I'm also very driven and I can get things done. Every, like your best quality is always your worst for everyone. So that would be my best and my worst. Oh, sorry, Josh. Um, I feel really gross with this spider bite. Why do you keep tugging on your top? Um, probably to keep it secure. Um, crane operator or NFL player? I don't base my love life off of jobs. Although I would rather, like if someone were in a similar industry, I would find that beneficial. Like, so if someone did what I did for a living, that could be a plus for sure. But I'm not um, a huge, I feel like uh, dating someone in an athletic profession sounds very fun, but um, they're, they're, it must be a little bit tough for them to have their identity or their kind of their dream job in so quickly. And that's, that's a lot for our partners to deal with. And that's a huge change for people. So I'm not really sure if that's as attractive as people make it out to be. You know what I mean? This is delish. I kind of wish I made it bigger and I could have savored it longer. But any more than this. Mm. Mm. Um. Good thing coming. Mm. Wait for a while. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Tashi, actually, I don't want you to come tell everyone hey. Hi! How y'all doing? You need someone stress free. Yes. I am highly stressed myself. Um, Are you single? Yes. 100%. What's in my drink? I'm drinking iced coffee, fake sugar, some ice. I did a dash of milk. What music rocks to you? Ooh, I love so much music. Um, I like really naughty rap music. I like rock and roll. I like some jazz. I like some oldies. I like Frank Sinatra. It depends on the mood, but I like it all. Even some country on occasion, but old country. And some pop. I don't, like, I like it all, but it just kind of depends. Mm. Something just fell in the bra. I don't think so. This spider thing is so disgusting. <laughs> anyway, what's my favorite soda? Um, Coca-Cola. It's pretty good. If I try to avoid it. Favorite era of rap music? Um, I like it all. I, but I'd say I like stuff that I've been alive for more than older stuff. Because that's where my memories are tied to. So, you know what I mean? I like older music, but like the best memories I have are with music that was around when I grew up. You know what I mean? Funniest pickup line ever used on you? Um... I don't know. You don't remember funny ones. I remember this guy on Bourbon Street came up to me when I was like 16 and he said, you look like you should be on Baywatch. And I, I just remember that one because I was like, oh my God. Like, and I was so little and I did not look like that. So now I think it's, I thought it was cute. Now that you're 30, do you think you're a MILF? Um, I've been a MILF. It's Tosh is my son. Where are you, son? There he is. That's my son. Everyone's been trying to fuck Tasha's mom. So what can I say? Been a MILF. Been a MILF. Anyway. It's kind of crazy. Um, I was just watching Roadhouse. And Patrick Swayze, I was like, oh my God, he looks so good. Like, this man, he must have been, like, how old was he here? He looks perfect. He was 30 fucking 7. Like, whoever lied to you and said that, like, people, they, they, their hotness ended 
at a certain age were just insane. And it's interesting, I just watched this movie about like women in film and it's just, it's how you're perceived and how we're shown, but I have friends who are, I mean, I just did a podcast with someone who was 50 and when I'm telling you everyone, when she left, everyone was like, she's hot as fuck, like, like stunningly hot. And I looked at her face for an hour and I was like, she's hotter than me. So age really isn't um, as important as effort, I don't think. Yeah, there's someone. Um, Sir Charles says, hi. Hi, Sir Charles. <laughs> Stop touching your bias and your words. Well, I don't listen to you. <laughs> I'm in Lindsay's house where Lindsay makes the rules. So, good try. Um, come to the vacation in Paris. I've never been to Paris. It looks so pretty. I feel like that would be very fun. Um, what else we have? Jennifer Aniston's hot. Mm-hmm. Because she's always been perceived as hot. She's always been that, like, sweet. Child. They sold her as that kind of person, so she got to keep... I mean, Reese Witherspoon. J-Lo. And I know I've met some of the Real Housewives, and oh my god, they're hot. <laughs> um, no way anyone's hotter than you. Yes, they are. Do you know Chinese? No, I don't know Andy. Should I? Thanks, Jim. I stand up and walk around and show us your place. Mm, I'm too lazy. Can't do it today, but maybe on the next one. I'm trying to think. I want to do something fun next time, but I also, I'm filming, a, I'm going to film the whole place when it's done. So I have a lot of um, work to do. I have some wallpaper Friday I'm very excited about. Oh, uh, that's very nice. You don't come off as a Southern girl. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't care. Um, if you could do anything fun in this second, what's the first thing that will come to your mind right now? I just want to go to Disney World. I've been trying to convince all my friends. I'm like, Disney World. They know Disneyland, which Disneyland is great. Disney World, well, Disney World, I want to go back to Disney World as an adult. And I think just, I'm just trying to convince a squad to come and like no one's enthused. I think that's one of the hard parts about getting older is like people have motives and a lot of times the motive is just not to have a good time. Sometimes the motive is like, oh, who's going to see me? Am I going to make money? And is there going to be sex? Like all these things. But like, don't you just want to have fucking fun? That's, that's, what, that's my idea of fun. I just want to go to Disney World with some friends. Period. Mm. Anyone who is rich can be hot? Uh, maybe. But there are plenty of people who are rich and ugly. So there's, you know what's interesting? A lot of people when celebrities look good or great or they work hard at their appearance, people will be like, oh, well, it's easy with a trainer and nutritionist and a nanny and blah, blah, blah. And when I'm at the gym and I, I'm in the middle of doing something that I hate, all I can think about is like, no one lifts that weight for that person. Maybe they, maybe they made it into the gym, but like no one lifts your weights for you. And it's really hard work for any human body to stay fit in a world that is designed to not let you be fit. It's just crazy how much, um, like all I can think about in the gym, I was like, damn, they got to lift these weights too. And they got to run a billion dollar business or a million dollar business. And they got to do all this. So I think about it completely different than, um, making excuses because <laughs> usually when people shit on people um, looking great when they're rich it's because they're making excuses for why they haven't worked hard enough to have things they want you know what I mean you grew up and nobody asked what your favorite dinosaur is anymore I don't have a favorite dinosaur do you I have to ask you because you're sitting down do this whole thing could you stand up um I'm too lazy. I love you guys, though. <laughs> Getting rich set people's glitches off their nuts. Yeah, I read this book about um, 
it's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And it said that people, one of the, the guys in the book, he was like, you can never hate on something that you want. You can never speak ill about something that you would enjoy. So, or that you think you deserve, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just crazy. Especially like these moms too. It's like all these moms, all the celebrity moms, people hate on them. They're like, oh, it's great. She is a nanny and trainer. Bitch, she still pushed a baby out of her vag, her vagina. And now she has a six pack, period. Like what? Like no one does those sit-ups for you. No one does the fitness routine for you or like the eats healthy for you. And furthermore, if you have nannies and you have trainers and you did all that, you've made investments and sacrifices to spend that money on that and not something else. So my perspective of that is just completely different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yes, a lot of people that are rich are ugly. John, I said it. Because <laughs> I see him all the time. You guys are funny. Tosh, come here. Actually, I don't want him up on this. Oh, you guys are so much fun. It was so great catching up with you with my afternoon coffee. I should probably skedaddle. I should probably get to the rest of my work. <laughs> this light's cute. Mm. Ah, this light's way better. Anyway, guys, it was so nice catching up. Um, I'll be going live here on Friday for real. Won't be, it'll be longer. And then I'll be live on my other page at, on Friday. Damn, I'm tired. Sorry. Love you. I'll see you in all my other things. See you next time. Bye.